This is an AMD 63. Came from Classic Firearms. It's got the FEG receiver and the Tapco G2 trigger. So, had a couple cool modifications on the outside. We got the ATI side folder and some cool stuff going on there. The problem is the disconnector for the trigger, right? So, say, let's say we fired around, we pulled the trigger, and the trigger does not want to reset. No click. We have to pull the trigger forward for it to reset. This gun is brand new. Um, well, I say brand new. It's probably had about 400 rounds through it. Let's take a look at the inside and see what's going on. So with the trigger pulled, you can see here the disconnector on the left. That is supposed. That is how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to let go of the hammer and let it go forward. Now the problem is it's not releasing. See that? Until you push forward on the hammer. So that's our problem. What we need to do is uh, file down or uh, polish the surface here on the hammer. So I'm gonna get this thing pulled apart and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, one thing I wanna show you, um, before you do any kind of polishing, try to mess with a fire control group or anything like that, you wanna make sure that you have the correct amount of spring tension um, from your main spring here. So if you have an issue when you are releasing the trigger for your reset, and it's getting hung up on there, but everything looks okay inside, and you don't want to try to you know mess with polishing and anything. What you may want to try to do first is pull up these spring legs here, and they should have a pretty good downward bend. So you can see that it's not straight at all. Right here, it kind of curves down a little bit, and you want that curve to help push down your, your trigger when you're trying to pull it. So this coil here um, on the front side is what is going to give your hammer tension, but you need to have enough tension here to push down your trigger to bring it back to neutral right there. So try that first. Um, if those spring legs are straight, give them a little bit of a bend. And if you still have that issue, then we'll go to the next step. All right, I'm gonna give you the best close-up view that I can. Hopefully my lighting is okay. All right, so there is our hammer. And right here on this ledge is where our disconnector claw kind of holds over. So it holds over this edge right here. You can see that really rough molding mark and I think that is our main spot that's giving us a hang up. So we need to go in with a small jeweler's file. I'm gonna take off that lip there and then polish it down. And that should keep get us fixed up. The other uh, point of concern could be the actual trigger hook itself. Let me see if I can get a, okay. So see that part that's moving? This section right here that has a little hook on it that rides on this edge here. So the underneath of the hook on this side right here also could be kind of rough. So we'll check it out. I'm gonna show you how to remove the fire control group on an AK-47, might as well. So I've already got the safety lever out right here. And that's the only thing I've taken out. So you remove the safety lever, turn it all the way up, pull it out to the side. Then the next thing that we're going to do is get some needle nose pliers and grab these two spring legs here, wrap them around the front of the hammer. Be really careful, you do not want these to slap you. They will hurt pretty bad. So 
there's the first one wrapped it around the face there let's grab the second one do the same thing and then once you get them out like this what I like to do is uh, get a zip tie and just zip it up here to keep those things from coming off you can use whatever you want because the last thing you want is to have your fingers down in the receiver and those things come off that hammer it really really does not feel good okay there we go so we've got those suckers tied up the next thing that we want to do is uh, push out that little paper clip that they have in there hopefully you can see it right here it's wrapped around both of the pins so what you want to do is get a pick of some sort and you want to undo the little shepherd's crook head let me see if I can get a get a bit get a okay shot of it so right there we pointed out that the lighting's not too great see that wrapping around that little piece of steel we want to take it off and pull it out so you're just gonna to have to mess with it they use a couple different style styles of these it's gonna be different for every different AK Tapco sells a uh, replacement part that makes it a whole lot easier I can just get it, yeah, there we go. Just get it out of the groove there. You know what? Let me go ahead and pull this rear pin out. I'm going to lift up on the paper clip here. Pull that pin out the side. We can remove our trigger and disconnector claw. You know what? Let's take a look at that claw. See how it looks. So here's the claw right here that rests on the top of the hammer that releases it. You can see it's also got some pretty good molding marks on it. And what we want to clean up is this underside. Underside of this claw, see that? It's pretty rough in there too. So we're going to clean up that a little bit and then we're going to clean up the face of the hammer, or the top of the hammer. Okay, for this one, I'm going to push down on the spring here and then push out and see if we can see if we can remove this pin. This part can really be a pain. That's why Tapco made that. Okay, we've got our hammer out here. I want to be very, very careful. We're going to cut this zip tie and uh, try not to get smacked. Okay. Release one side and the other side. There we go. So this is the orientation of the spring. Okay. And what, the side that we want to clean up is right here. And the way that this works is this claw holds over that and when you release the trigger this piece rocks over to this side then you pull the trigger and the hammer falls so you fire the gun this goes down into hit this groove and gets caught by this claw then you reset the trigger it's caught by this claw and that's your final trigger pull so we want to clean up this engagement right here so when you get to this part here you leave this up to a gunsmith I'm not telling you to do this and uh, if 
you do something stupid and kill yourself, it's your own fault. I'm going to use a jeweler's file here. Start to take down some of this metal. Just not even going to apply any pressure. Just going to let the file take away the metal that it needs to to be flat with the rest of the surface here. I'm just barely taking down that molding mark. Use a round file so I can pinpoint the exact spot that I need to take down. Okay, that's it. That's all I want to do there. Just barely, barely take a tiny bit off of the raised edge. Do the same thing here on this claw. Again, like I'm not even just not even putting any pressure on it. Just letting the file kind of kind of rest on there. Same thing with the round file. Then we can get the Dremel out and do some polishing. Nice and smooth there, inside the claw. All right, so that should be it. Just barely hit the edges with a buffing wheel. Already feels so much nicer. So let this get, let's get this section here assembled back again. Then we'll put the fire control group back together, see how it feels.